Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Kingdom Death Monster. Let's uh, let's go ahead and move on and do the stuff. So, um, let's go ahead and do this all in order as usual. So, Survivor's Return, Gain Endeavors, uh, Yuka, Shikiaki, and Yonazuki are all Tinkers, so that's going to be seven Endeavors in uh, base, four for the Returning. Three for the Tinkers. And two from uh, Collective Toil. And then we'll be going up one Lantern Year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It'll be a lot easier if I just did it this way. 10, 18. So this should be year 18. Timeline shows on year 18. Nothing. Nothing's going on. Uh, so we just need to do a settlement event. Uh, I did shuffle, but I'm going to shuffle it one more time. Cracks in the ground. Okay, this is a dangerous one because I have someone wearing heavy gear. Um, so essentially someone could die. Um, so I'll roll 1d10, see what we get. All right, well, I'm so Yorhime will go ahead and use her reroll because this will kill her, period. Nine, okay. So a little rumbling fills this element, small cracks in the earth widen into fissures that belch up hot, foul smell smelling vapor. A massive crack splits the ground in two. Any returning survivors with heavy gear are dead. Archive any heavy gear in the dead gear, uh, survivor's gear grids. It is lost with their body. Um, and then two through five is literally the slowest person dies, just period. And then six plus gets you a founding stone. So we do get a founding stone at the cost of a reroll, which is fine by me. So, uh, founding. All right, gained it. All right, and then some other things of note. Uh, we can do vapor visions if we have the shrine, which we do. Um, Which can gain, let's see. Yeah, it's not really worth doing. Um, also, we can't do any home endeavors, so we'll need to make sure, need to pay attention to that. Also, before we couldn't do science endeavors, so I just need to make sure I pay attention to things like that in the future. I think we're okay. Yeah, looks like it. All right, so we do have a founding stone, which is great. We'll save that for later. Maybe we'll use it on the hand. Try to go for the, the epic the epic quick win for a, se uh, a second time in a row. Uh, all right, that is it. That's uh, nice and uneventful. I, I have no complaints. So we'll go ahead and spend our first endeavor uh, to go ahead and innovate. So we'll just take some stuff from here first. So monster bone, monster hide, monster organ. Then we have 11 cards in this innovation deck. I believe that's correct. There's only three innovations that are still in the box. All right, one, two, three, and four. All right, so we can get Scarification, Sacrifice, Pottery, or Bloodletting. Um, pottery allows us to um, convert herb resources into hide. Oh, this is the consequence that we got from getting a sculpture. So this is actually pretty good. Um, getting the ability to convert herbs into a hide is definitely something worthwhile. Um, we can also gain love juices once per an additional love juice every year as well. Also, plus one survival limit. Um, even with seven survival, I seem to burn through it rather quickly now. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take um, pottery. Pottery will be a nice addition. Okay. So pottery gained. That'll give us more uses for our endeavors as well, besides just, you know, breeding. All right. 
Uh, we do have some spare acanthus plants laying around. Uh, we need to spend the two I just got, so I'm going to go ahead and just spend those to get the uh, fresh acanthus ma remade. Or sorry, dried acanthus made. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag this iron over here. We're definitely going to use that to make something. We just, I just don't know yet what yet. Um, next. That was one endeavor. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get the endeavor to make leather out of the way, just so I can say I'm making leather. So we'll go ahead and get this monster hide and put that away. I'll use that to remake the uh, turn that into leather and just remake the um, skirt. Get that out of the way. And we'll keep the mask on bit on deck for now. Alright. Um, next. I want to... Um, what can we do with the blacksmith stuff? So technically I can get a second... I can get uh, a second iron uh, using smelting. So that'll give me, two, essentially I have two iron to play around with. So, I'm already making leather. Yeah. And so, I, like every every time we go through settlement phase, I'm always looking over the blacksmith stuff, because I'm just not that familiar with it. Like I've, like I mentioned many times before, I've never really made anything with it. Plus two accuracy with club weapons is kind of nice. Um... That's Gauntlets. Greaves is plus two movement. Uh, Lantern Mail doesn't do anything. And then there's the Curse itself, which is minus two movements. When you depart, add three. Uh, add, thre uh, add three to all hit locations with metal armor, which is amazing. So that's like, yeah, essentially like 10 armor to all locations. 12 if you have a, a, a shield to go with it. Uh, the ring whip. We haven't really done anything with whips, um, unfortunately. This thing here has no strength, it's just all raw sharp damage. So I don't really want to make another beacon shield. Uh, the curse is nice, but the problem is you need kind of the connections to go with it. And it seems like it kind of expects you to take uh, certain red tabs to go with Lanch and Greaves. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make the Greaves first, because we need to get that plus two movement to counteract this uh, Lanch and curse first. So, what do I need to make Greaves? I need an iron and five leather. So, I have an iron. I do have the iron. Do I have the leather? One, two, three, four. And then I could turn one of these into a, a hide as well using the pottery. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to convert that. I have to spend an endeavor to do that. I can only do it to one. Uh, one per lantern year. So there's that. So that was one, two, three, four. I'm just seeing if I actually have hide laying around. I don't. And five. All right, so this will go back here. So that pretty much ate up all my hide. But I was able to make it. Yep, iron, five leather. That'll make that'll make lantern greaves. So got lantern greaves, that's one piece of the armor set. And then I can technically make another iron using smelting. 
Actually, I can make two iron smelting, it looks like. So. That might be something I can play around with. I can't, I don't have any leather left. Uh, I can make a helmet if I really want to. Or I can make the, the mail, which is organs. One, two, three, uh, four, and five. Okay, and then put that there. I need to roll 1d10 though for the endeavor on smelting. I think two is a fail, isn't it? Yep, nothing happens, so that's one. And then eight is enough to spin three and convert over to one. So that's two more endeavors spent. And it's going to convert. I've already used the iron, and then convert these into another iron. And then I spend those organs to get the lantern mail. Which is just the waste piece. So we've gotten two of the three, two of the five pieces. Um, I can make one more iron, but I don't have all I have left is bone, which I think I have enough bone. Oh, I definitely have enough bone. So let's go ahead and roll one d ten. Uh, is five enough? So if you roll high enough, you only have to, uh, if you get 10 plus on the result, you can just convert as many times as you want, but otherwise it's a, it, it's one endeavor each. So we'll convert another iron, and then we need to get, uh, I'm making the helmet now, it's seven bone. So uh, put this back, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. There you go. So all that's back. And now we get the Lantern Helm. All right, looking good. So, not bad. Um, we burned through a whole lot of resources here. Um, all we got left is just a handful of things now. But now all we need to finish the set, uh, we need to make the gauntlets and the cuirass, which is another 4 iron and 11, 11 leather, which is going to take a little bit. Um, but if we finish the full set... Um, I should be able to at least get the, most of these connections working. Uh, it is heavy armor, which kind of sucks. But if uh, just to show off the, the lantern set again, um, if we finish the entire... Where is it? Lantern armor. If you finish it, you get uh, on arrival. Your survival goes up to survival limit, which is amazing. Uh, and then the extra weight is grant leverage. All clubs in your gear, gear, gear grid gain sharp. So it's definitely good for people that are club proficient, which unfortunately are not very many people. All right. So that takes care of all of that. We have four endeavors left. I'm going to go ahead and spend one to shrine. All right. Shrine is successful. So real quick, just making sure. So I spent one on innovation, one on leather, one on herb, and then Just to make sure. All right. One on innovation. One to convert to leather. One to, uh, one failed attempt to, uh, sorry, one to convert an herb. Uh, one to attempt to convert, uh, convert to iron failed. Su uh, convert to iron success. And then one more iron. So we got three endeavors left. I'll spend one more on shrine, which I just rolled for. 
which was successful, so I have plus one armor to all locations. Leaves me with two endeavors left. Um, I will... Oh, I have a hoarder. I need to actually take care of that. Um, so with hoarder, I would have I would have had to take one of the items I got and essentially let it be stolen. I'm just going to pick a fresh acanthus, and your hemio would have gotten a plus one courage from that because of hoarder. All right, so I forgot about that. So that's taken care of. Um, I still have two endeavors. I'm going to go ahead and use that love juice. We're going to go ahead and get that. Actually. Uh, I'm going to spend an endeavor on paint, on a face painting, and do the Founder's Eye. Failed. I'll do one more. Also a fail. Okay. Uh, in that case, I am not going to do the Intimacy roll, and I'm just going to hold on to the Love Juice. Because no point in me trying to roll something that when I can get a higher chance of success. So that was all my endeavors. Which uh, was a bit rough, but that's okay. Um, we're up to 8 survival now. Uh, Rinazuki has to sit out this next fight because of the uh, the torn muscle he had. So he has to sit out. Which is unfortunate. But at least someone else can now take a, take a swing at things. Um, we'll probably end up moving Shikiaki over. There we go. Move, we'll have Shikiaki move over. Um, I think, and then of course, the people that can't do any, uh, weren't able to do, uh, any adventuring before should be able to now. So, uh, obviously we'll go after another Screaming Antelope, because those things are worthwhile. Uh, we didn't break a pick, which is good. We did remake the leather skirt, so we're good on that front. Yeah, this is a... This was a very, very productive day. Or year, rather. The, the problem now is we need to get a lot of leather and a lot of iron, and I've kind of burned through everything at this point. Um, with our timeline as it is, we're at year 18. Fi uh, the original final boss will be in seven years. Uh, we do have Kingsman at the 19th, and we have Butcher level 3 on the 23rd. Uh, we do have Hooded Knight coming back in. He'll visit Two more times before the Watcher. Um, I think I can get enough resources as long as I don't lose the fight against the Butcher. Um, also, we have to win the fight against the Kingsman because if we lose, well, he will he will break the pottery innovation, and we don't want that. So keep that in mind. Um, do, do, do. Oh yeah, um, it wasn't just Yorohima that would have died, it would have been Renazuki as well if we hadn't rerolled that uh, thing because of the heavy on the beacon shield. So, got that going for us. Um, so before I do anything else, I just want to see what I have for options for my next... Uh, we're going to definitely take Ringo. Looks like, yeah, we're going to be taking Ringo and then probably... Um, Where is she? There she is. We'll probably take Hitate. Um, Anxiety Immortal, yeah. Get them set up. Because um, we're kind of on our way to mastering a lot of um, various weapon types, which will be pretty helpful. Um, we're also on the verge of essentially retiring very soon. A lot of characters. But it is what it is. Alright, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, there's literally nothing else I can do right now. So I am the Depressed Hero, and this was King of Death Monster 1.5. See you guys next time.